Hello everybody, this is again Dr. Garima Srivastava from Orange Clinic and she missed Delhi. So continuing with our series of hysteroscopy made easy, we continue with our vaginoscopic approach with the practical demonstration. So here we have Telepack XGI from Carl Stoss, which is the best system for office hysteroscopy. So it has a monitor, it has a system for storage as well as recording, it has connections for the light cable as well and a camera system. So starting of all, our camera head should be straight, irrigation comes in from here, aspiration from here, the light cable is connected downwards and we start with our office hysteroscopy. The patient is taken in in the office area with no preparation required, not even a mesoprostol. Sometimes maybe an anisid may be given and the proper position is made. Keeping in mind, we do not close the vulva like this so that it's an absolute no touch technique. So this is an antiverted uterus. We know that from our previous examination. So since it's an antiverted uterus from our previous lecture, we know that for an antiverted uterus, when we are going inside, we have to keep our hands above so that we can see the, visualize the external os. Okay. Then we can see the external os by simply moving our hand upwards. Now the wherever area that we have to go, that we have to reach this area. We know the external os lies here. So when the light cable is down, this area should correspond to the 6 o'clock angle. So as we are taking it at 6 o'clock angle, we have reached inside the cervical canal. Once we are inside the cervical canal, we inspect it and we keep on moving further. With the help of the flute, the cervical canal also distends and we can see more easily. Now this is what we have reached the level of isthmus and isthmus you can see is like this. So we can simply rotate our right cable, light cable to the 90 degrees and go on inside easily. And once inside, we are inside the uterine cavity, we can see some polyps and then we go inside, further inside to visualize both the ostea. By, since again the beauty of 30 degree scope, we simply rotate a light cable to one end and we can see the left ostea. And then we rotate a right cable to the opposite side and we see the right ostea. Then we can also examine all the four walls. At present we are examining the anterior wall, then the right wall, left wall, then posterior wall, and all this just with the movement of our light cable. Then we come back again have a panoramic view. Then while we are returning back we may again see the cervical canal. Sometimes also with these scopes we can also visualize the squamocolumnar junction and we can also perform corposcopy because it can give a beautiful magnification. We can also inspect the walls of vagina and then come back. The procedure will hardly take you two minutes and the patient will not complain of any pain. Thank you so much.